Leon Cullen, a major cocaine and gun supplier in Liverpool and other towns in the northwest and Wales, was allegedly forced to brush his teeth with soap by guards in a Dubai prison. A drug lord was reportedly beaten in a Dubai prison and was forced to brush his teeth with soap after fleeing the UK in a desperate attempt to evade capture. Leon Cullen, a major cocaine and gun supplier in Liverpool and other towns in the northwest and Wales, used a fake passport to try and escape justice in 2018. It was rumored he spent time in Spain and Thailand, but he was eventually caught hiding in Dubai, where he was arrested on January 3, 2020, Liverpool Echo reports. While in jail in Dubai, Cullen was severely beaten as a hood was placed on his head, according to his barrister Oliver Cook. Mr. Cook added, he was left for days in a dark room with a hood on his head. He was held in a cell with 50 other inmates. Liverpool Crown Court heard how Cullen's head was shaved, and he was forced to wear robes and sandals, guards regularly beat him. Mr. Cook said, he brushed his teeth with soap. He also had been trying to effect his extradition to the UK for some time after being arrested in Dubai. I know that the consulate had been contacted on several occasions. When he was extradited, he was zip-tied and put into the back of a car, and handed over to the UK authorities. There is absolutely no criticism in the way the UK authorities acted. It may be in the court's mind that he brought his confinement on himself by leaving the jurisdiction when he did. But nobody ought to be treated in the way he was treated, no matter what criminal offense they have committed. Cullen's brother Anthony, who fronted the organized crime group with his sibling, was jailed for 27 years in 2019 after being caught by the National Crime Agency. At Liverpool Crown Court on Friday, Cullen himself was jailed for 22 years and 6 months. The court heard an alarming arsenal of weapons was uncovered at home on Rylands Drive in Warrington. That included a functioning AK-series rifle, a pump-action shotgun, automatic pistols, revolvers, and a silencer fitted to one of the automatic handguns. When Mr. Cook argued in court that his client had suffered hardship in a Dubai jail, which should be taken into account when sentencing, Judge Gary Woodhull replied, I bear in mind the harsh regime you were held under in the United Arab Emirates. Although some would say you only have yourself to blame having fled there to evade justice in this country. Police are seeking a serious crime prevention order against Cullen, and a separate proceeds of crime application is now underway to try and recover some of his ill-gotten gains. When informed of this, Cullen, on video link from Manchester prison, told the judge, no problem, your honor. Mr. Cook claimed his client intends to better himself in custody and on his release to become a productive member of society. Liverpool Crown Court heard how Leon, while working on a level with Anthony, had a different role, and was in contact with gangland figures higher up the hierarchy, who supplied the cocaine. Leon was responsible for the supply of very high purity cocaine, about 50 kilograms in total, and used the gun stash to enforce the gang's reputation, often intimidating customers or associates who owned him, and his brother money, it was said. Vehicles were used to transport the drugs, including a car that had a secret hide controlled by a device linked to the cigarette lighter. One of the Cullen guns, a 9mm self-loading pistol, was previously used in a shooting at a house on Rose Avenue, Boodle, when a round was fired into the curtained living room occupier was present, on August 20, 2015. Judge Gary Woodhall told him, it's clear to me that those further down the chain of command who were carrying out the day-to-day -day activities either had properties provided for them or their rent paid. The gun hall found in Warrington was the biggest firearm seizure in Cheshire Police's history. It was heard. When the gang was sentenced in court in 2019, they received prison sentences totaling 185 years. Cullen, who pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply firearms, conspiracy to possess ammunition, and conspiracy to supply cocaine, was handed 10 and a half years for the cocaine supply and 12 years for the gun possession and transfer.